American Forest is a non-profit conservationist organization. And joining us from American Forest today is Jad Daly, the president and the CEO of that organization. Welcome, Jad. Thank you, and although I come from that strange land called Washington, D.C., where people aren't sure if climate change is real, um, I can tell you that it is. Um, and that uh, those of you standing over there in the shade are enjoying this surprisingly hot September day here in San Francisco a lot more than the folks who are standing in the blazing sun, which is actually why a lot of folks have headed over under that tent, which is sort of like a, a fake tree. And so when we think about what the urban forests mean for climate change, we really need to think in two lanes. We need to think about climate action. What are they doing to slow climate change down? And we need to think in terms of climate justice. What do they mean about bringing protection from climate change impacts? Things like extremely hot days, yes, even here in San Francisco, um, and what they can do to bring shade and other protection to people in these communities. And I'll tell you that even though I'm from far away, I feel this one in my soul locally because my grandmother, Nan Daly, lived here in the Tenderloin for 30 years working for the city of San Francisco and she was a real champion for equity, diversity and inclusion in this city and the greening of this city and I, I know if she were here today she would think about what we're doing as really the perfect synergy of climate action uh, and climate justice. So I want to give you just a couple of numbers to hold on to because we've talked about some really local numbers of what can one tree do. I want to roll that up for you. Here's your first number, 7.2% Urban trees across America reduce energy use for heating and cooling by 7.2%. Now translate that in your head into the carbon emissions that are avoided because we didn't have to use all that energy for heating and cooling our homes. Your next number, 100 million. That's the metric tons of carbon dioxide that are sequestered by urban trees all across America every single year. And by the way, that's about 2% of our carbon emissions. So we're not talking about a rounding error here on climate action. We're talking about carbon mitigation squared. One of the most powerful things that we can do to solve climate change is what we're doing right here. It's bringing more tree canopy cover into our cities and taking better care of that tree canopy cover so it lasts. Now I'm going to give you one more number, and this really speaks to that climate justice issue. The number is 10. There was research done by some folks at Rollins University, the Rollins Institute of Public Health. And they project by the middle of the century, not some fantastical time in the future, the middle of this century, we're going to see a tenfold increase in heat-related deaths. And guess what? That's not going to be among affluent folks who are living in well-air-conditioned homes in neighborhoods with lots of tree canopy. It's going to be predominantly people in neighborhoods like the Tenderloin. So that's why we need to be here planting these trees for climate action and planting these trees for climate justice. Now, the second, last thing I want to talk about is this is an us thing. This isn't about American forests. It's not about any one of the private partners or any one of the public sector partners that you've heard up here today. This is about all of us pulling the rope together. And we all came together to create this event. We have not yet had a chance to recognize that corporate partners are playing a huge role in funding this work in cities, making up the gap in funding that we need for what the money that we're not getting from the public sector. Uh, we have Rich Brown here today from Bank of America, which has been the anchor for our ability at American Forest to partner with organizations like Friends of the Urban Forest and San Francisco Department of the Environment and San Francisco Department of Public Works. And we're doing the same thing all over the country, a national organization helping local organizations to be successful. And that's made possible because of Bank of America's support. We're really grateful for that. And another corporate partner that helped to fund this planting here today is Alliance Data uh, and Epsilon. Uh, these are, are companies that are, are huge champions for urban forestry across the country and again are providing a part of that missing increment of funding that we need uh, to take this work to scale. So it's going to take all of us pulling the rope together um, to fully deploy urban forests as a climate solution that we need them to be and we just really thank you all for being here today um, to lift this issue up, lift this opportunity up and give it the attention it deserves so we can carry it forward. Thanks very much.